Hi y'all. I'm gonna have to bear with me in this video cause let's start with my day, including getting new glasses and I feel like a drunk toddler. Some reason, the floor is up in my face when I look down. And I'm like, whoa, so I had to make sure I didn't buy focals on. It was crazy, it was crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> let's start with my day. Went to physical therapy at 9.30 in the morning. That should be bullshit. That should be bullshit banned right there. Let's vote against PT that early in the morning. This girl ain't having it. And then I saw the doctor at 10.15. And they are very impressed of how well I'm bending it. But they're not happy with how much pain I'm still in. And I told him, I said, it's been a month. One month. I should not be in this much pain. And that's what's hurting a lot of my physical therapy progress is because I said, I, I, I know that makes me sound like a weenie, but I can't progress if I in this much pain. He said, you're not a weenie. And he goes, I understand that. So he put me on another pain pill because I told him the one I had that isn't working. And I don't want to be one of those pill seekers because that's just bullshit. You know, you see that in the ER when you're, you know, working out there. And he's like, I don't think you are. He goes, if we were five, six months out and you were still asking for stuff, then we would address it. But he goes, you just have major surgery. You're only a month out. We're going to try to get do what we can. So, you know, and the scar is looking beautiful. The scar is really good. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Strangers that see me, that take a look at my leg or my knee, go, oh, that's a nice scar. And I'm like, yeah, no, it looks good. <laughs> So anyway, um, and then I went and got my glasses and then folks, I went to the Michaels because I want to get yarn that will finish this shawl. We need to get on it. And I just realized I got two different things. Oh no, it might be the same thing. They're just different labels. Maybe, you know, at this point it wouldn't surprise me what I do anymore. So here I got the charisma yarn like i got that other one but it was violet this is in gray i guess they just changed the labels hell i don't know i don't even know what's going on half the time around here but here's the shawl that i started and i was one row from being done but i yarn right now at michael's is buy one get 50 percent off so of course i had to buy two and i think i'm gonna put two in it or see how far i can go um, because you're supposed to end on a certain row. So you have to end on a certain row. Anyway, so this is the shawl that I am working on. And it's done in the blues and the smoky right there. So I hate that it, the smoky gray is going to be right up next to it. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You know, because I wanted more blue between it. But honestly it's okay it's it's gonna be okay and if you know it'll work it'll work so I don't know maybe I tried to do a row that looks like that would be enough to to do a row I don't know anyway so it's not a perfect match but it's close enough it's close enough and uh I was going to make it as a gift, but I don't know if they like the colors of that. So, you know, we'll see what happens um, from there. I don't know. So, uh, the cross stitch, just a couple more letters and that thing's done. I already showed you all that. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I'm so excited to uh, to. Get these projects nailed down. Oh, did I show you the hat on? This is the other yarn that I picked out to go with that shawl and it was turned out to be violet. Look how cute this hat is. Isn't that the cutest? It is so open here, so I don't know how well that would work, but it is what it is. So, um, anyway. Oh, and... I was looking through um, 
the hates. And I was like, you know what? Quick stitch hates are 30% more blurry, I think. Was that quart pixelated, whatever? So the caravan wagon, I saw a mock-up of the one I was showing y'all. It's going to be kind of blurry. But I was like, you know what? What else is out there? What else is, if I'm going to do a hate, fuck, let's just go big, you know? I'll, I'll never complete it in my lifetime, and I know that, and I'm okay with that, but I want to start one. And, um, y'all, I, I can't, I didn't say the picture, but there was one that has a farmhouse with quilts on the outside of it, hanging up, you know, when they air out quilts, it's a quilt air out day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I almost got it. Um, I, I'm going to think about hate for a little bit longer. Um, cause there's so many patterns and I only want to do one cause I don't feel the need to buy a lot of hay patterns when, like I said, I'm not going to be able to do it in my lifetime. So I want to pick one that's the right. I love the gypsy caravan because that's my inner soul is a gypsy. Um, I, I'm, you know, I have that, um, uh, but I also love the farmhouse quilt stuff. And I love um, the Charles, is it Charles Woodstick? What's, he does the um, folk art stuff that he does puzzles. And I saw some hates from him. So I'm like, oh, oh. But they make, they do have a wish list. So I'm thinking of creating a wish list, go through every single pattern save my favorites narrow it down to that wish list then take the wish list and be like okay what is my favorite of this and just try to go do it that way um i i need to get pandemic printed out uh and figure out that situation but really right now my priority is getting this fire piece done and getting a gift made my dumbass thought, oh, I'll make a throw blanket. Well, I started it, and it's the size of my queen size bed. So that's going to take a while. But I want to get those two done. I still have my Halloween hijinks quilt cross stitch piece that I, it's still in the bag. I want to get back to that. Um, I just haven't been able to do that. So there's a lot of chaos going on right now because there's just so many things I want to do, and I want to get started. Um, but... I got to pry towards my finances because hades are not cheap, especially because I'm going to get the large print printed out paper version, which I'm going to take to uh, Office Depot and get uh, those plastic comb put on it. So it's like in a book form. So those are like 20 something dollars if I remember right um, or higher. And I'm not going to buy the material kit from them. I'm just going to pick uh, some fabric. What I usually do is I go to Sandra Stitch and Stash and use Miss Rita. And I'll be like, I need fabric this size. And here is my list of floss. And she handles it. And I get shipped to me. That's how I usually do it. Because I personally you know with Hade, 80 something colors, I don't have the patience to stand at the store and try to get all those colors. It's easier for me to write a list, send it over to Miss Rita, and be like, handle it. And she does, and she's wonderful. If y'all have not checked out, she's not sponsored me. I'm not sponsored, but I love shopping local, and I love helping the little people. And her shop, it was Sandra's, it's Sandra and Rita, they are amazing. I love them. I really do. And when I find a shop I love, I stick with them until they decide to go out of business. And if they do, I'm going to go find them and be like, listen, not today, not today. <laughs> um, so, you know, once I settle on one, then I'll send it over and get fabric. Because sometimes I think with hates, it's going to need a yard of fabric, if not more. Um, so we'll see how that, how that plays out. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try to stitch... And get used to these. They're a little big, aren't they? They're like all up in my cheeks and stuff. But um, I've got I've got the blue pair. 
the blue the thing is I'm worried because my face is so wide that they're going to stretch and cause problems so let me show you the blue pair they're ombre they start dark blue and then they go to clear how cool is that huh I look all fancy <laughs> so I, I'm glad I if you haven't um, again here's another plug for a company that I'm not sponsored by but America's best eyewear one with the owl yes I went there cosmetic um, insurance doesn't cover eyewear but I got two pairs of glasses with a free exam for 60 something dollars now, if you want name brand eyeglasses and stuff, I think it's two for a hundred something and a free exam. So, I mean, I don't need no name brand. I'm a good, cheap girl. You know, I don't care as long as I can see. So, I, rec I do recommend America's Best. Um, they're really good folks. I don't agree that you have to take my temperature and fill out a COVID paper to get glasses. I think that's a little much, but... It is what it is. You're trying to protect yourself. You want to go home to your kids and not have to, you know, have germs. I get it. I get it. So, anyway, guys, I love y'all. Take care and spread peace, love, and kindness because America needs it really bad right now. <laughs>